it's so funny to me when I see someone and I look at their shoes and I know those shoes, I've seen them before. I know this one person is interested in style. I know when people are interested in, in comfort. I know when in, people are interested in, in luxury. I just can't turn it off. I, I would remember people, oh yeah, that guy with the blue shoes. I remember the shoes and then I'm able to just come up to the rest of the thing. My name is Raul Ojeda. I am a shoemaker. I work at Willie's Shoe Service of Hollywood and I make shoes at Don Ville. In 2001, I started Shining Shoes in Century City. We were shining so many shoes, and people trust the work that we did so much that they started asking if we could do shoe repair work for them. Then one day, um, just driving the city of Los Angeles, I found a repair shop in Hollywood called Willie's. quickly stopped there, walked into Willie's and asked if I could bring my shoe repair work to him. He was in his late 80s, so he said that it was too busy. It was him and two other guys working there at the time. There was just too much work coming in and they just couldn't handle. So I asked if I could come in and learn how to repair shoes. So Willie became my teacher, my mentor. And other than just teaching me shoemaking, though, he inspired me to want to be like him. One day, uh Willie offered him the business, and um, the rest is history. So let me do it again. Do what again? How do you spell your name? N Y B A. Bingo. Bam. Bingo. I just spelled somebody's name wrong, so uh, he's trying to. We're checking spelling. Yeah. It's important to have the Project. right name. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's always worked his entire life in Mexico with his dad from a very young age, and then there's a progression in his teens here. Um, Hustling, shining more shoes than anybody else in the game, um, to buying that business, to developing that business, to meeting Willie, and then working under him for, for three or four years, and just learning the craft, and now him taking that next step to where he's, he's now a, a master shoemaker, and there's nobody in the United States doing what he's doing. Hey Chava, are you almost done with that shoe? Almost. So we have this hat here um, with a feather. It needs to be positioned in place. I guess if we just do a, a quick hand stitch on the thing, make sure that we go through, then we'll go through the lining yeah. and we glue it back on. It's an art. I mean, it's more of an artisan kind of deal rather than just a shoe repair shop. Because there's many in LA, little small repair shops, but none yeah. like the stuff that we Hey, what's going on? How's it going? So did you get a chance to work on the hat? I did, yeah? yeah. Come on, nice. All right, well, cool. yeah, there you go. That looks amazing. Yeah, we ended up using um, that fishing line. I can't even see, where did you attach it? There's a couple couple marks here that you can barely see. I cannot even see it, dude. That's There's amazing. one there as well. You know, this is like a Hollywood tradition, this place, you know, I mean, it's, you know, Hollywood's filled with lots of tradition and lots of, um, of period, and this is a place in time, you know, and it's still around, still here today. I'm sure Marilyn came here, who knows? I mean, I don't know that for sure, but I mean, like, it's just been around since the beginning of, you know, of Hollywood. But thank you so, so much. Thank you, thank you very much. So awesome. All right, glad we can make the time frame as well. So apart from making a regular customers, we have this other section that we make special orders for TV shows. You know, when it comes to custom designers and TV shows, it's always more creative, which is the good part, the fun part. One of the shows, it's Glee. And yeah, that's for them, we made those um, pointy boots. Willie would share with me so many stories about 
movie stars and, and just famous people that he've done shoes for. He, he made shoes for, for Bill Cosby, for, for Ronald Reagan, for... Willie was the guy, who the shoemaker, who made the first Ronald McDonald shoes. And today, we are now again starting to see very respected names. And whenever they need some, some shoe-related work, they come to see us. So this picture at the record to see the, what kind of shape was and then how different before and after. I met Raul uh, almost one year ago. One day I just walked in and then I asked Raul and Chaba, I want to learn how to make a shoes more specific, like a professional. I was just surprised because I didn't expect they would let me in. The team that works with me, it's, it's almost like my family. Our team, it's, it has many different captains and each one of them is in charge of their own department. Armando, for instance, it's our head shoe repair, he takes shoes apart and puts them all back together and right now has Cass as his apprentice. We also have Herver heading the department of alterations and, and repairs. He is the guy who you'll give him a, a loafer and gives you back a cowboy boot because he was able to put it, take it apart and put it all back together. We also have a department that's in charge of all of our polishing and reconditioning to get the shoes ready. So that John and Sal are able to have the shoe ready for whoever walked in the door. I split my days every day between Willis and Don Villa. Don V is where we make all of our custom shoes. So every day I go back and forth during the day, at least a couple of times to make sure that everything is, it's going the right way, the way it's supposed to go. This color is too lower middle class. Yeah. My girlfriend knows that I have a problem finding shoes that fit. This has happened for most of my life. And she was on the internet one day and she found Don Veal. And she said, this looks interesting, why don't you look at it? And I wasn't planning on getting any shoes, but uh, after I talked to him for about an hour, uh, I was convinced that he would be able to make a really nice pair of shoes. It took a little tweaking, but he's great because he knows shoemaking so well. Are, we, are you going to go for the loafer this time? Yeah, for the loafer, which I've never been able to wear because my feet are so narrow and the heel always slips right, out. Right, right. One of the things that makes me more interested in shoemaking is that I have a connection with one person when I'm making a shoe for them. That's too close to what I already have. Right, this yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Let's, um, so I want a let's lighter. see it. Let, you want a lighter one? Yeah. In department stores, you find shoes that are commercially made. They're made for the average person, just for anybody who wants to pick up the shoe. I understand that not any foot is the same in this world. Do you like this toe? Would you like me to just take this toe and put it into the last that we have of yours? Yeah. Or do you want to go wanna, somewhere in between these two guys? I don't want the, the point. It's too pointy? Yeah. I just love it. I mean, it's... it's uh, it's quality workmanship. And then it's, everything's on the premise. You know, they've got the, the, the work room is back there. They do all the work here. Yeah, one of my dream is became a shoemaker, like Raul, he has two shops, Don Bire and the Willy. And then, you know, he's still young, just like two years older than me. So I was just impressed 
you know. Well, Raul is a man of integrity, uh, drive. He just, he has so much force behind him. He leads in everything he does 100%. For me, I'm six years older than him, and I'm being led by somebody that's my junior. And there's very few people I would ever let be my commander, if you will. And for some reason, I see the strength. I see there's something inside of him that's greater than me, and I have no problem following him into battle. You know, a lot of people tell me that I'm, I am an artist. I, I consider myself a, a craftsman, a shoemaker. Um, my focus is it's making shoes, and because it's such a rarity in these days, it does qualify me as an artist, but my, on my business card it says that I'm a shoemaker. <laughs>